I believe you can use your phone to take screenshots and share with people anytime. But how can you also take screenshots on your computer or laptop like you want to show something to someone on your PC? In this video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can take screenshots on your laptop or computer without downloading or buying any special software. Now let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you three ways that you can use to take screenshots on your computer. Now the first step or procedure is by using the print screen key on the keyboard. Now what happens is that if you want to take a screenshot, you can just open to wherever that you want to capture. It can be of a window or it can even be of a procedure that you want to capture. Now I'm going to capture a procedure of creating a folder. Maybe I'm designing a book and I want that screenshot in the book. So let's see how it goes. So I'm going to show student or in my book, I want to show people how to create a folder by taking a screenshot. So I will just simply right click on my desktop and then I come to the new and now you see folder. So I want to screenshot this procedure and then use it in a book that I'm working on. So whenever you get to where you want to screenshot, you just simply press the print screen key. It is located on top right of your keyboard. So you just press on it and automatically the screenshot has been taken. Now, how do you see your picture and then use? Now, one way to save the picture is by going to your start menu and then search for the paint application. So when you open the paint application, you can just simply use Ctrl V to paste it or hit on the paste icon at the top left. So when you click there, you can see my screenshot has been pasted in the paint application. Now I don't need all these entire background. I just need only this portion. So you can just edit this image. So let me just crop it. So I'll just take the crop tool and then just highlight on this procedure that I want to capture. So after highlighting, I'll just click on the crop here and then I have cropped this portion that I want to use in my book. So let me just save it. So you go to the file here and then you can just save it. Now when you are saving it, you can decide to save it as PNG or JPEG or any other format. So let me just maintain the PNG and then give the file a name. So let me just say, so let me name it folder procedure and then I will choose where I want to save it. So I want to put it on the desktop for easy access. So I'll click on the desktop and then hit on save. Now let's go to the desktop and find it out. So you can see my folder screenshot i just captured so this is it so i want to use this thing in a project that i'm working on so this is a project that i'm working on i'm, I'm creating a book to show students how they can create a folder by putting in the screenshot so this is microsoft word so i can just simply go to the insect here and now just click on the picture to browse my picture that i screenshot so we we place it on the desktop so i'll go to the desktop and then come to this this is the file so i'll just click on the file and just say insect and now you can see the screenshot that we took on the desktop so that is how you can use the print screen to take screenshot now you can capture anything as me like maybe i have a browser and i want to just screenshot this i can just press on the print screen and automatically it has been captured you can use the paint and then paste it in it and then save it as a file which you can use this picture anytime on your computer now the second procedure that you can also use to take screenshot is just open to wherever you want to screenshot so supposing i want to screenshot my window i want to screenshot this window now what you do is that you can simply hold the windows key plus the print screen and automatically it will screenshot this particular window. Now, how do you check the screenshot? Now, when you go to your document, that is when you go to document. So where can you find the screenshot? Now, when you go to this PC, 
now you will see a folder here called pictures so open to this directory so you see pictures is always saved inside then you can see a folder called screenshot so when you open the screenshot you will see the picture of the screenshot that we just took so this is the screenshot that we just took so that's another second procedure of what taking a screenshot you just simply go straight to uh, whatever window that you want to watch screenshot then you use the windows key plus the print screen and automatically it will capture a screenshot of it and then save it directly in the screenshot folder that is located on your computer that is pictures you will see it right here now the last procedure to use to take screenshot is by using the snip and sketch application now this app is a default application that comes with the microsoft windows so if you have a computer you can just simply search for snip and sketch so this is the app you just launch it now when you launch it you have to just you can use the windows key plus s to what to take a screenshot wherever that you are you can do that or you can just simply go to the new here and then you can just click on snip now and now snip now will just appears on your screen and then you just highlight on wherever that you want to screenshot and then automatically it will save it in the application so this is the snip screenshot that i just took now one thing is that after you are done you can just save it if you want to make some editing to also modify if you want to make some editing to the screenshot now when you check at the top here you can see the various pencil this is a ballpoint pen i can use or pick any color maybe i want to use red to highlight on something here so i can just use it to what highlight on anything whatever you want to do you can do with it we have another pencil that you can also use and now this one is the highlighter if you want to highlight something on the screenshot that you just did and this one is called the eraser the eraser can help you to erase what you have so at the end of the day if you want to save this picture and use it you can just hit on the save icon here and now you give your file a name and then you choose where you want to save it and then you click on save automatically this screenshot has been saved on our computer now let's verify it here so i save it on the pictures and now you can see the screenshot right here so these are the three ways that you can use to take a screenshot by using the print screen key on the keyboard or by using windows plus the print screen to capture anything and then the last one is the using the snip and sketch application now if this video has been very useful and helpful to you please hit on the thumb up button and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss content like this see you next time